From time to time, we like to step away from the normal course of business and bring you a special edition of Texas Country Reporter. Now, you may remember how last spring, one of our sponsors, Mueller Incorporated, the metal roofs and buildings people, wanted to reach out and lend a hand to one deserving Texas charitable organization. Now, what you see behind me is the culmination of a dream for that winning organization. Pretty soon they're gonna move in here, set up shop, and continue with their very worthwhile charitable cause. This week, we're gonna bring you their story and tell you how this building will help them to change lives. I'm Bob Phillips, and I wanna invite you to join me for this special edition of Texas Country Reporter. Texas Country Reporter is brought to you by Capital Farm Credit, We're the Answer, Mueller Incorporated, Metal Roofs, Metal Buildings, Ironclad Guarantees, Hoheim Prairie Insurance, Texans Insuring Texans Since 1892, Top Texas Towns, Lubbock, Nacogdoches, Corpus Christi, Laredo, and Wichita Falls, and Southwest Airlines. It all started last spring when our friends at Mueller Incorporated came to us with an idea. We were thinking over the past several years just how blessed a company we were and how fortunate we've been. Um, and during the last uh, year or two, as the economy started to turn, we just felt like that it was uh, a good opportunity for us to find a, a, a nonprofit organization, someone who is needing help while at the same time they're trying to help others. We had uh, 267 applications from nonprofit organizations. After the monumental task of sorting, reviewing, and evaluating each entry, we narrowed the field down to three finalists. In the tiny southeast Texas town of Call, Milton Huey runs a makeshift food pantry from a trailer attached to an historic church. Layoffs and lumber mill closings have hit this area hard, and Milton now feeds dozens of families a month. Up in Northeast Texas, a group of volunteers called Titus County Cares provides food and assistance with utility bills, rent, medication, and emergency shelter to the needy in the Mount Pleasant area. Their unique backpack program provides weekend meals for hundreds of children who might otherwise go hungry until Monday morning school breakfast. And near the coast in Orange, Texas, a local branch of the group known as CASA, or Court Appointed Special Advocates, is helping children in desperate need. They provide a voice for kids in the courtrooms, ensuring that the judge's decisions are in the best interest of the children. When Hurricane Ike roared through Orange in 2008, Casa's building was battered, flooded, and all but destroyed. Today, they work from a temporarily donated storefront space in Vider. As you can see, three deserving organizations culled from dozens and dozens of others who were all doing good work as well. We heard from volunteer fire departments, senior citizen centers, and lots of animal welfare groups too. But in the end, one deserving organization stood out among all the others and was awarded this new Mueller building. We'll tell you their story when we come back. Welcome back to Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of Texas Country Reporter. You know, it was just a few months back that our friends at Mueller Incorporated came up with the idea 
of giving away a building to one deserving Texas nonprofit, an organization that was doing good work, but one that could really use a new metal building. As you can imagine, a lot of time and consideration went into selecting the winner. That honestly is a heart-wrenching thing to do, to read all those applications, because every application had a story. Everyone had a need. Everyone had projects that they wanted to do and people that they were wanting to help. It was August when the fateful phone call was made. Hello, Chuck. It's Bob Phillips. Congratulations. On the other end of that line was Chuck Hinton of Titus County Cares. For them, winning Mueller's helping hand meant much more than a free building. We earn that honor, and we consider it an honor. We, we don't look at it like we won the lottery and we just got the building. We don't look at it that way at all. This was given to this organization because of what this organization has done and what it will do in the future. And so that's the key to us. Chuck Hinton and his fellow TCC board members flew to Mueller's headquarters in Ballinger, Texas after receiving the news. That goes with this beam, let's go over here with the dead up and welded. This facility here that Mueller has is phenomenal in terms of the precise, computerized uh, manufacture of all these components. I couldn't be prouder of, of uh, the fact that we're going to have a Mueller building. Even with Mueller taking care of materials and construction, there was plenty of work left for Chuck and the Titus County team. From building design to foundation funding and pouring, it would be a busy couple of months for the tight-knit community of Mount Pleasant. Because we have such a short period of time, we need help and my phone has been ringing off the wall. Earlier, we gave you a brief overview of Titus County Cares, but when we come back, we'll look a little deeper at this organization and how they're making a difference, helping those who need it most. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Texas Country Reporter, Mueller's Helping Hand. Now, we ask nonprofits from around the state to tell us who they are, what they do, and why they need a new metal building for their organization. More than 250 applications flooded into our office, and when the dust settled, one stood above the rest. But who are the people of Titus County Cares, and why is their need so great? How many did you say? There's five in the household. We don't service some of the needy. We service all of them. Every hungry kid, every hungry family, every kid without a toy at Christmas is taken care of in Titus County because of these volunteers. Titus County Cares is the nerve center of charitable service in the greater Mount Pleasant area. TCC volunteers support and coordinate with local food banks, crisis centers, shelters, and schools to help their neighbors in need. Titus County Cares is an umbrella agency, which really means that we have a lot of programs that we offer to our community. From empty stocking to the Good Samaritan Center to the backpack program and the food pantry. 892 families were fed through the food pantry in April. The very first thing that we started with Titus County Cares is our Good Samaritan office. And it's an office that primarily assists families with emergency needs. With all the job layoffs, more and more people may, may have food stamps, may be able to go to the food pantry, but they absolutely cannot pay their rent or they can't pay their utility bill. So we help with those too, with those bills. It's indescribable, I mean, to be part of that and to know that you actually could help someone. I don't know how words describe it. I mean, it's just what God told us to do. 
Since its creation in 2005, Titus County Cares has expanded to meet the growing needs of its community. And the rapid growth has spread resources far and wide. Because we don't have enough storage, we have to go to Tyler every week to buy a small bobtail truckload of food. This is why we need a building. We're delivering 500,000 pounds of food out of a 170 square foot room. The food pantry do 850 families a month in a little 12 by 12 area, which is you know, miles away from our Good Samaritan office, which is also miles away from our stories that we have for our toys, which is miles away from we actually pack our toys, which is miles away from we pack our, our birthday blessings and our um, East Texas blessings and backpack. Despite overwhelming local generosity, TCC barely has enough space and resources to meet their most ambitious goal to ensure that not one single resident of Titus County goes hungry, ever. What we recognized is the fact that children were going home on Friday, coming back in on Monday morning back to school from the weekend very hungry. You just don't realize the needs until you actually go to their homes and see what's going on. Um, you've probably never been to a home where you open up the cabinets and there's nothing there. This is a basic need that they don't have, that we take for granted. TCC's program, Blessings in a Backpack, sums up the sentiment and dedication behind this truly incredible group of volunteers. Every week, Titus County Cares stuffs hundreds of backpacks with donated food. Then, on Fridays, local school kids from low-income homes find the backpacks in their lockers or cubby holes. These are the kids who get nearly every meal from the school cafeteria. Kids who might go hungry from Friday night to Monday morning without these blessings in a backpack. The attendance on Mondays and Fridays is up trips to the nurse are down. And the grades are up. On every one of these campuses, their tax scores are up. The teachers will tell you, the principals will tell you, the superintendent will tell you. It is directly attributable to the backpack program. And I'm so darn proud because 350 great, great people, it's, it's, it's their legacy. It was a cool and overcast day in Mount Pleasant, Texas. People went about their daily lives and business hummed along like usual downtown. No one but a few early risers and an awaiting assembly crew noticed the gleaming white Mueller truck chugging through town, carrying 32,000 pounds of steel, along with an immeasurable amount of hope for hundreds of families in Titus County. This day, this hour, marks a turning point in the life of Chuck Hinton and every one of the 350 volunteers of Titus County Cares. In a matter of minutes, Mueller will begin assembling their future. We have, we have been scrambling and looking forward to this day. The excitement of the whole town, building up to this moment has been tremendous. So how much do you think you'll get up the first day? Uh, if the weather leaves us alone and uh, all the no, no, uh, no issues, we should have the red iron all it today. Yeah. 
It's an assembly order unlike others for the Mueller folks. You see, Mueller makes and sells buildings, but they don't put them together. Third-party contractors do that heavy lifting, except for today. For this most special of jobs, Mueller has brought in employees from across the state. Volunteers who normally manage Mueller stores, train assembly contractors, work the sales floor, and handle customer service. Oh, they know what they're doing, they just don't do it very often. And they are all here to help contribute to the cause. After three years of riding around the truck and doing customer service, it gets old. I like, I like to do the physical work. I like to do my hands-on stuff. Opportunity to be able to do it is, is, is nice. It is a nice thing to do. Everybody is, is excited about it and bought into it, and, and they've taken a lot of pride in everything from just the drawing of the building to the manufacturing of the building, the, the truck driver that came. Everybody is just... Uh, on board and just really excited about the whole project. Over the course of three days with the cloudy sky threatening to open up at any moment, the work continued. Time was short, but spirits remained high. As the roof began to enclose the space and the final trim work was done, the reality of their new building began to settle in among the folks of this incredible organization. This building will change things dramatically, Bob. It, uh, we will all be under one roof. We'll be able to store our food in one spot. Uh, we won't have to handle it four times. We'll be more efficient in our delivery of the food. And we, we will have a signature place. It's big. We prayed for so long, and it just wasn't the right time. And we knew that God would provide in the right time. And um, obviously, with Mueller and Texas Country Reporter, this is the perfect time, and it's his plan, and we're very thankful. Our dream was to get a building. And a building's a building, but this has got a soul. It, it is. It is magnificent. Only four days have passed since that truckload of steel rolled up to this site. Today, there is a building on what was an empty lot, and the town has turned out for the celebration. The cloudy skies have cleared. Children come by the busloads bringing donated food. There's the drill team, and the band and the cheerleaders from the high school. There's the curious and the dedicated. There were words of thanks and tears of happiness. And then the moment Chuck Hinton had been waiting for since that first fateful phone call. On behalf of Bob Phillips and myself, Texas Country Reporter, Mueller Inc., and everybody that's had a part in making this happen, we want to present you the keys to the building. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the new home of Titus County Cares. <laughs> It's a day we never th thought would come, and uh, it has, and it's come with great glory. We dodged the rain all week. It was, we had help from all sectors, didn't we? To care that much, to offer the cost, just to bear the burden of the cost, to build this building and construct it um, for people in need, says a lot about Mueller and the people that work there. They have a heart. I think it's awesome what this company has done, and we're very, very thankful. People helping people. Some give and some receive, and some receive by giving. That's what Titus County Cares is all about. It's what Mueller's Helping Hand was all about, too. A group of volunteers building a shelter of hope for another group of volunteers 
by building a building that will make a great organization even better. And it won't be long before the good folks of Titus County Cares will be up and running in their new Mueller Metal Building. I want to thank you for joining us this week for a special presentation of Texas Country Reporter. Next week, we'll take you to the new stage for live theater, and we'll catch up with our old friend Doug Smith, the panhandle pianist. I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Reporter. We'll see you next time. Promotional consideration and travel arrangements provided by Valero, the energy to take you anywhere. La Quinta Ends and Suites, with more than 600 hotels nationwide. Book your room at LQ.com and wake up on the bright side. Texas Country Reporter is brought to you by Capital Farm Credit, We're the Answer, Mueller Incorporated, Metal Roofs, Metal Buildings, Ironclad Guarantees, Oheim Prairie Insurance, Texans Insuring Texans Since 1892, Top Texas Towns, Lubbock, Nacogdoches, Corpus Christi, Laredo, and Wichita Falls, and Southwest Airlines.